Good day, everyone. We will have today a demonstration about FEA Cal 2D from our cloud. Um, just go to the sidebar and then click on the software. You will find the FEA Calc a user interface that includes um, the, the drawing pad and all of the menus or the icons that you will might need for modeling your sub chat. You can always uh, start drawing anything you wish. And you can see on the screen, like there is a tooltip showing the length of the bar element that you are uh, modeling. But if you wish, you can overlay a PB have found that you have prepared beforehand, just like this one here on the screen. Uh, we've got a portrait frame. You can have a, an elevation for a building. You can have a truss or anything that you wish. So on this screen, I'm going to just uh, zoom a little bit and then click on the frame element. But before that, actually, we should calibrate this cam just by calibrating in Gubing. So we've got little to length of the structure here is 6.6 uh, 6 times 2. So I just take all of the length from here to there, whatever the software is showing. So you just go 6.6 .6 times 2. We've got that left should be equal to 2.2. I'll then you say, yeah, may. To verify the calibration, you can just take any other dimension that is all about right. Then click on a frame element. Then just trace the structure that we are having without any problem. You can use shift in order to have orphabil or parallel to X and Y frames. So the structure has been modeled. You can now just discard the PVF by just refreshing the window. So the only thing that you can see here is the portal frame that we are designing. Here we've got a fixed support in the say. And then we've got a pin support. You just nominate the restraint. You can have X, Y, M, or any of those as a restraint for the structure. Now we've got the structure already modeled. We can now define our load cases. So it got by default two load cases, did on live and let us add went load case. Here, the loading now comes in the play. So you click on this icon, you got the window that gives you all of the options and the load cases uh, that you have defined beforehand. So let's say we've got a UDL load on this profile frame of this say five kilonewton per, per millimeter, meter, and then select the element and just say apply. Five is plus, so that is with lock and two. So you want to make it downward, so you just make it minus. And another one again, minus five. Now, if we only have live load also, so minus one, well, let's say that is roughly water all. You did load kick on the element. So now minus one apply. So those are the live goals demonstrated. And another one, you can actually select multiple frames and apply one load at a time without any problem. And let's say we got the wind load case. I've selected this by mistake, so there is no problem. You can just delete that. I may mean, select this element and apply minus 7.5. So that is then all you'd brought sideways. You can have some uplifting loads as well for the frame. Let's say minus five here or five actually to make it uplifting on this one. 
And so something like this, or maybe the other way around if you wish, you can just again easily apply any load scenario that we have and make that minus five. Let's say this is a wind load. Actually, you can also um, apply power filling loads. So if I've got, let's say, minus five at zero and then minus three at three meters from, uh, actually it should be minus three. Something like this you can do. And then simply click on the bread icon. You'll have the analysis ready for you. You can zoom in out and look at the moments. You can look at the shear diagram, axial loads, and deformations. Now, in this very case, we, we have just the default sections. We can always nominate a few sections. So you go to Australian standard sections, and let's say we've got a span of 13 meters. So let's say a span depth is you hope uh, 35. So 13 divided 13,000 divided by 35 gives you 300. So that, so a sensible section would be for this span would be uh, 360 UB. Uh, let's take um, the one that is 44 kilos and 40 palms. You can use different set of uh, sections. Let's say you see, and then select the section have a UC that is the say 200. Just arbitrary sections and then apply. You can verify the deformations that you got in this case, you got the deflection at Y from diddle equals to this, from Y equals to that, and from wind equals to this much. Now, you can always have a known combination. Let's say have a standard load crumble. One, insert, and in that combo one, I just add one did, zero points for your live, and one load at one. And then you just click on the frame here, the little icon, and just treat the load combination then will appear in this. We can use always the uh, values, show the values and increase the scale. So if the, there are the loads applied, showing how the partial load is, is done, providing a step in the wind or in the woman biogra. And you know that you want to see again, you just click on shell loads. So that is the bid load that we have defined beforehand and live load as well. And when load, you can see in all without any problem. Now, if the section or the spring is, is good enough, you can always save it either in your machine or under the database. So you can give the project number listed it today is 240810 and the Mughal name will be portal number one. So you just analyze and send to the database. So whenever you lose this, anyone open it later and just click on the database icon and you will find your model here. Anytime you can't open it and analyze it again. You can't always edit the model the way you wish. So I have a, for example, I say I want to change this node, stretch it, just say apply. Everything would be changed on a particular button. If you want to check any property of the section, so just skip on the property mineral, the section would be highlighted showing node one and node two. And then you see all of the properties of this section, including modulus of elasticity, inertia, and area, and the coordinates.